Okay, so this is going to be the Canva tutorial for our SGA members. Um, so real quick, currently I'm on the pro version of Canva, and that's just because, you know, for my job and everything like that, it makes it a lot simpler. Uh, but for the last uh, almost three years, I had been using the free version. So basically what I'm going to be showing you today is everything that you can do on the free version because you can make very good designs uh, utilizing the free version. So the website that I'm using is Canva which is C-A-N-V-A dot com. Um, when you uh, load up the website, it's going to look like this. Uh, it might actually show you um, basically like a sign-in thing or create an account. Um, so creating an account is basically going to allow it to save all of your designs so that once you create them, everything is going to stay there. You can go back in. You can edit them. I have clearly an insane amount um, just because you know, I mean, this is all just from like this semester basically. But you know, it'll save all of your stuff. So should you ever have to go back in and tweak something, you're able to do that. So I would recommend creating an account. You could just link it to your Facebook, I believe, or you could just do it with an email. Um, so once you're in, you'll recognize, or you'll see that basically there's um, a recommended section, which is usually all I utilize. And it'll say, you know, like a flyer, Instagram post, a poster, logo. I mean, there's a, an insane amount of different things that you can do. And they're all just going to be different templates and different dimensions. So you can see here, like if you wanted to create a menu, a menu is typically 8.5 by 11, which is also the exact same size as your typical piece of paper. And the same thing will go for if you're just doing a flyer. But if you're doing a poster, it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, you know, so it, it's just basically that, and they will have different um, templates that you can utilize. So if I were to go into flyers, I might get a set of templates that I can use versus if I went into Instagram post or posters, I'm going to have different um, designs to choose from. But I wouldn't really worry about that. Typically, I think the best way to do everything is just go by the dimensions. As long as you're in the free version, that's going to be your best bet of getting what you want. Um, so typically, um, what I will do when I'm creating something, so let's say, for example, the other week, um, you know, you guys asked me to create an SGA flyer for you. So the first thing that I do is I think, okay, what does SGA mean to me? Uh, so typically for me, it means government. So, you know, I click on the flyer and everything like that. So I'm thinking government, what kind of speaks to me? Like what, what screams government? Um, and I, you don't want to be so specific. Like you don't want to type in student government, you know, because, um, oops, government. Um, so, because basically, once you do that, you're not going to get anything because it's it's a little too specific. Now, if I just typed in government, I'm going to get different things. Okay, maybe this isn't the best thing. But like, what's another thing that makes you think of government? Politics, right? So, politics. Recently, we had the election. So, let's type in election. So, I'm just trying to basically find the one that I utilized for your um your flyer that I made. Because basically, all I did was I took a um a, a template and I just edited it. I just changed some things around. Um, so, you know, I look through all of these different things. So like your votes count, you know, so I'm thinking, okay, that, that kind of works. You know, SGA does have some voting in it. If you're, you know, picking somebody to do something, um, maybe you want something like this and you kind of, you kind of want to look at everything. So like right here, for example, the statue of Liberty one, I'm just going to take my cursor off it so it doesn't keep moving. I kind of like how it has, you know, red, white, and blue all over it. It has that type of design. And I really like how these bottom texts are a different type of font where they're kind of hollowed out. Um, so I think that that's pretty neat. But, you know, you could keep looking through, seeing things that you want, um, basically. And um, one thing to keep in mind is that you can always change things. So I'll probably end up doing a, one that has like a, a photo already in it so that I can kind of mess around with it to show you that you can change almost anything in these. Um, and you could really make it your own. So, you know, let's go with, um, I kind of like, um, let's do, let's do this one. Cause I think that's pretty neat. You know, this, this looks like, you know, let's, so let's just say like we're making currently a flyer for you to, um, advertise to SGA saying like, Oh, you know, I want to run for secretary in Lackawanna college's student government. Right. So you could get a picture of yourself, right. Um, and you can basically just upload it, right? You just go, uh, at least for me on a, on a MacBook, um, I have all of my photos in my Photos app. You know, I just go to, I just do this and I go to Photos. And, you know, I can open up my photos and drag them right in. Or 
if you really want to, like, I'll just, you know, so we'll just say, because um, since Biden won the, oops, since he won the election, we'll just do one for him. Why not? Right now. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to type in, I'll go to images, and I'm going to find one that I kind of like, you know, one that, you know, would work with something like this. Now he's cut out, you know, so like this is clearly, you know, whatever, whoever took this picture, there is a background behind him. And right now that background is probably not being used. Uh, there's Canva has a background behind him, but that's something that you would do for like a, like the pro versions, but you can mess around with it basically. Um, so let's, let's do, um, let's do this one. Let's see how the, the quality is on that. So we'll do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save as, and then it's going to drop down this and I'm going to find my folder that I kind of put everything in and I'm going to just save it. And then I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to find this. I'm going to take that photo and I'm just going to drag it just like that. Um, and once this this line uh, finishes loading, basically you could just drag it right in, right? So there's his photo takes up that much room. So I could drag it, or I could click it and it'll paste it, right? So let, actually, you know, what, let me find a different um, template just to show you, you know, a little bit. Let's do uh, election again. Whoops. So let's do one that already has a, you know a picture. So let's do this one, just because it has a. It's clear to me that it's just a. There's a picture that's already placed in it. So I'm gonna go back to here. Um, whoops, my uploads. I'm gonna take the picture that I found online and I'm just gonna drag it, right? And I'm gonna be careful about it because if I stop it right there, it goes to the background because Canva will automatically reformat the picture to wherever you're trying to put it, well, wherever they have like a placeholder. So right now I want to put it right onto the picture that I'd rather be Joe Biden. So I just keep dragging it and then boom, I let go. Or what I could have done again is just clicked it and I would have gotten him. But we don't want him there. We just wanted him like that, right? So let's say this picture is of you, you know, and uh, maybe you want a different title at the top. So I'm just going to click that till I get the uh, text up. So um, let's just say, um, you know, um, like uh, I'm trying to just think of something. So let's just say vote for me. Just, just, just because I can't think of anything. But you know, you can, you can always design it however you want. Say whatever you feel as though it needs to be. And then we'll just say Joe Biden for. And I said secretary, but we know he's president, so I will just say for president. Right now, this is the picture of the American flag, obviously. And so right now, I know personally, just because I've done this so many times, that this is all not one piece of art. So if I click this, right, you can tell that it's one, it's, it's been grouped, basically. So these, this line and this line are separate things. They're called elements, which you can always find here. You could just type in elements, um, and you can get a whole bunch of different things. So someone just probably typed in line, and boom, there's the exact same line, and someone just took it, they shrunk it down, and then they changed the color to gray, just like that. Well, maybe not gray, maybe they did white, probably white. And then they just put it there and they, they just kept editing it so that it would basically, you know, fit that way. And then what they did was they grouped it so that should you want to move it, everything moves at once. But I, I kind of like the lines, uh, I want to keep the lines, but I want to get rid of the American flag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup them. So now you can see that each thing is pretty much highlighted, you know, on its own. And I'll click off of it, and now I can individually click everything. So let's say I want to get rid of this. Um, so I don't have the SGA um, logo, but what I do have is my Lackawanna student uh, student life and housing logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that, which is it was it's pre-uploaded, so I already had it on my Canva account. And I'm going to shrink it down, and I'm going to fit it right into the middle of it. And you see these uh, purple lines? That's going to help you get it so that it's, it's in line. So I want to look at these horizontal lines and make sure they're right on top of those little white lines that I put in before. And I'm going to let go because now it is right front and center. And I can even really check it out if I wanted to, like really make sure and sh zoom in. I usually choose 125 because that will make it pretty, pretty close, but it's not going to be, you know, in your face like 300, you know. So I, I usually like to do 125. It makes it pretty easy for me. 
Um, you know, so, so far I'm liking the way that this looks. I'm going to go back to 50 just because then you could kind of see everything. It's not too far away. Um, so down here, you know, this is probably his, um, not slogan, but, you know, his, um, his reasoning, why, why to vote for him or, you know, uh, and so typically for like an event, this is where I would put a description of the event. So, you know, let's just say, um, I will make things better, you know, I'm not a politician, so I don't know exactly what he would say, but let's just say I will make things better, um, America, the proud, I don't know what they say, so let's just do, let's just do, I, I will make things better, I don't know, so we're going to keep that there, keep in mind that I'm not trying to be political, I'm just trying to help <laughs> make this right now, um, and you can, oops, I didn't mean to do that, so basically, like, there's, like, this line, there's all these different things in here, so, you know, this there's this little blue line, so it kind of makes it seem like um, it's kind of popping out at you. Like these are at different planes, basically. So this is you know a little bit lower than this one. Um, you can also move things around. So like let's say there's a part of this picture that I wanted Biden to be behind. Like let's say I wanted this type of stuff, like all these letters behind him gone. I just wanted to see Biden. So I click on this because this is an element behind that picture. I'm gonna click position, um, and I'm gonna say go forward. And I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to do it again. And now, you know, this is the actual element that was always there. So, I mean, should I have ever picked a different element, it could have, you know, take, took out some of the different things. So what I'm going to do is just revert that. So I could either press this, or, I, you know, to, to keep going back, or I could have, you know, clicked it so that, um, you know, I could have gone, done this, went back to position, and then just said backwards until I was satisfied, right? So, you know, it's just basically um, ensuring that certain parts, certain aspects of your design are in the correct spots. So, you know, that's one thing that you can do. Um, and then, you know, another really nice thing is, you know, text. So once you are, like, so every template that you have is going to have preset boxes for the text message, for the text that you want to do. Um, but if you want to add more, so like, let's say it is an event, or let's say, you know, you, you like the way this looked, but you wanted text somewhere else. Like, let's say you wanted text down here and down here. So what I do is typically I click, you know, just a little bit of body text. I'll take that, I'll drag it, I'll put it over here. I, I'll kind of line it up as best I can with those, um, those purple things, right? And I'm going to just say, you know, come to my speech to see what I am all about. Right, I'm gonna press that. Um, now I like to keep things pretty much the same, you know. So this has a different font. This is Playfair Display, the font for this, and this one is the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. So I'm gonna click all of these. Um, typically, the 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 one that you know when you click on the the text, the one that it gives you is going to be you you know Canvas's default text. But if you want to match it up with everything, it's always gonna be the ones above here because these are going to be the ones that are already in the document. So tenor sans um, is like just by looking at the way this looks, like the font for this, tenor sans is probably this one. So I could double check. Okay, it's not. Let's see which one is it. If I ungroup these, I'll be able to tell. There's tenor sans. That's what tenor sans is going to look like. I kind of like that, you know. So like let's say so this is this is tenor sans. Then this is Playfair display. This is tenor sans. This is play for your display. So it only makes sense to me to make this tenor sans so that it kind of stays within the same stuff. So I'm going to do that. Um, this font, I kind of like the way this is sized, so 14.8. I'll click this, I'll highlight it all, and I'll go here and I'll type in 14.8 and I'll press enter. So I kind of have the same type of size, right? Now, if you remember before, I said I wanted you know, some text here and I wanted some, some, some text here. So I'm going to, you know, just read it and kind of imagine as if I was seeing this as, a, as an outlooker and how would I, you know, what, what's more visually appealing? Something in one line, so come to my speech, right? Or it could be come to my speech and then I'll tab it down to see what I'm all about, right? I kind of like the way that that looks better. It makes it a little bit more compact and it's going to allow me the type of room to put more text on this side. So, you know, I don't like that it's centered. Uh, I kind of want it to be to be flush with the uh, borders of this. So what I'm going to do is highlight the entire thing as best I can. Let's see. Sometimes it's a little finicky, so you got to just, you know, be patient. 
And so I'm going to highlight all of that. I'm going to go to here for the alignment, and I'm just going to left justify it. Um, and then I'm going to, so there's a little space here that doesn't need to be there. I accidentally typed it. So, you know, now it's pretty flush, but it's almost too flush. So what I'm going to do is click it, and to make it move finely, like you can always drag it around, right? No problem. But to make it move in a fine manner, I'm going to click it. I'm going to tap the arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm going to tap it once, and it's just going to move it one space to the right. You know, you're not moving it, you know, 10 spaces to the right and one swift move. You just, it's going to do it in the most fine way possible. And if you want it to be really fine, what you'll do is you'll click it again. You'll go to the, the you know, 125 or something like that. So click off of it. Now I can really move it even more, just a little bit more fine, right? Or you can, you know, manually do it as well. And the only way you'll ever be able to move it basically is when you just click it or, so like that's as fine as I can go. So if you just click it and drag it, or you can uh, like sometimes, you know, you just gotta be careful that you don't click on one of these because then you're gonna stretch it and you're gonna kind of make things a little different. Like you see if I pulled it in, it's gonna reformat it basically. I kind of want it on two lines, so I'm gonna do it that way. Um, I'm gonna just fine tune it one more time. Just like that, okay. So I'm gonna go back to the, whoops. The 50, I think that's what I'm typically at, 50 or 75, so 50, yeah. So I'm going to do that. Um, typically what I do is I just copy and paste it so that it keeps the same font, keeps the same you know, size of the text and everything like that. So I'm going to press Control c click off of it, and press Control v It's going to give me an exact copy. And I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to get rid of all this text because now here's where I want to say, um, you know, what the date and the time of everything is. So I'm going to say today's day. So say Thursday, November 12th, right? And what's the time going to be? It's going to be 7 p.m. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at, you know, Angeli Hall, you know, for Lackawanna College. Now, since this is left justified, this is kind of odd looking this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of it. Oops. See, like it's a little finicky, so you got to be a little, little careful. So I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to right justify this so that it's all closer to that border. And I'm going to make sure that everything kind of lines up. So you, see, now I'm kind of in this predicament where this is, you know, three lines and this is two lines so I kinda don't like that so I'm going to go here and I'm going to whoops I didn't mean to do that either let's go back I'm just going to press delete here so that it's on two lines I'm gonna put a comma there and now everything is all in one thing so that's you know just how you add text and everything like that it does make it a little bit uh, nicer to look at if you kinda add your own text um, but you know you can always just utilize whatever they have and make it however you need it to be. Um, something else to keep in mind are photos. So you know I de I didn't really typically deal with the photos on Canva because I had the free version. They don't have too much. Um, but let's just say I type in you know I'll just do America. You know so you type in America, you'll get all these different things, and you can do with them however you want. You can you know mess around with them, and you you can drag them, you can click them, put them in wherever you want. Um, but you know, just so that you know that this is an option for you, they're not going to have as much things there. So I typically would pull them off of, um, you know, Google. But the only problem with doing it off Google is the resolution of the photos might not be as crisp as something from here because these are all going to be pre-formatted to work perfectly within the application, whereas stuff on Google might not. So sometimes you'll have to print it and look at it and see if you like it, and then maybe you have to go back in and change the picture or take a different picture. You know, you kind of have to mess around with it. Um, something else to keep in mind is let's say you really, um, you know, you, you wanted like a, a different background or something like that. You could click this and it's going to give you a different background. It's only going to do the background. It's not going to delete anything for you. It's just going to put a different background on there. I kind of like the background that it came with, so I'm going to keep it, you know. Um, another thing that I'll typically do is for at least my events I'll get a picture of Instagram so I'll type I'll go to elements I'll type in Instagram and oh maybe it's not Instagram or elements sorry I'm trying to remember how I would do this usually I don't do this because I already have them so okay so let's say I do Facebook 
I'll click that, I'll put it down, so mine's the pro version, so it's going to be a little different from yours. I'll drag it down so it's a nice little small thing. Uh, I don't like that it's black because all the text is white and it's kind of hidden now, like it's kind of, it's kind of an eyesore to look at, so I kind of want it to match, so I'm going to, you know, just change the color. Um, and that's that and then typically what I would do is you know add some text I'll go back to a little bit of body text and I'll type in my you know social media handle so you know I usually just do a forward slash or you could do an at or you don't even have to do anything and I'll just say you know LC student life because that is our uh, in our Facebook handle um, you know I'll highlight the whole thing I'll go back I kind of like that 10 hour sand so I'm gonna make it that again and I'm just going to look at it and see how it looks. I'm going to adjust the, you know, just adjust it a little bit so that it fits nicely. Um, I typically probably wouldn't even put it up here. It's kind of out of place. I usually throw these types of things in a different area. But, you know, then you could, you could kind of mess around with it as you see fit. Um, and then when you're done, you know, so you can rename it. So I'll just say, you know, um, SGA demo for Canva. So once you're done, you can you can either share it or I, I typically never share it just because you know I, I, I always print my stuff out or I download it um, but you're gonna press download right and so when you download it you can do it as a PDF you can do it as a JPEG or a PNG and you'll download it it'll save to wherever you want and then you print it if you ever print, print uh, press print flyers it's going to want you to pay for it um, and that I have never done I believe it just means that like you know Canva will print like if you were making things really ahead of time you could print them out through Canva and then they would mail it to you. And, you know, they've got like all these different things, you know, but so definitely don't do that. Just print it on normal piece of paper uh, or like color paper. Um, another thing to keep in mind that's really important is on the templates. It's going to be hard for me to show you just because um, I have the pro version. But on the templates, basically, if you're on the free version, certain things are going to look different, right? Because they have stock images um, that you won't be able to, to use because of like copyright issues. So let's say, you know, um, I'll just do a totally new example. So like basically I'm done with this one. So, I'll, you know, it says all saves, uh, all changes are saved. So, you know, you're good to go and you could just X out and it should be in your all designs. It sometimes takes a minute to load. Um, so what I'll do is just refresh the page and then it should show up there. SGA demo for Canva. It's just going to generate the, um, the, the, um, you know, the quick preview version of everything. Um, but yeah, so then you're done and you could download it, do whatever you need to do. Um, uh, real quick, I'll just show you what I was talking about right before I did that. And basically, there's a discrepancy between the pro version and the free version where photos that are taken from the pro version have been preset into the templates. Um, and all the way that you'll know this is basically like, um, I bet you this is a, a pro version. You know, I bet you this is not, you know, someone, they, they, this is not a free photo to use. So what you'll see is a watermark. And the watermark will be like a big line and it'll say Canva in the middle of it. Sure, you can print it out that way. It, you can definitely do that. But it's going to be kind of odd and everybody's going to know that, you know, you just kind of cheaped out. You didn't really do much on it because you just kept the watermark there. So all you have to do at that point is go to your upload. So, you know, find your picture on Google or whatever. You upload it and you drag it in and that's it now it's free so you don't have to use it so anything that has that type of watermark in it it can even I've even seen it where it's boxes it's going to make it's going to print out with that watermark and you don't want that trust me it does not look pretty you want zero watermarks on your flyer or your poster or whatever it may be um, so yeah that just about sums it up for you know how to utilize Canva in the, the uh, easiest fashion um, I really enjoy using Canva. I've dabbled with other websites before, but Canva is the easiest for me to use. It is the most user-friendly. I've used Photoshop, and I always found Photoshop being pretty difficult to utilize. There's so many different tools, and I think Canva just makes it really, really nice to utilize. Uh, one last quick thing that you can do. Um, so let's say you like this, um, and you don't necessarily want to get rid of this, but maybe you want to see how it look, would look a different way. So what you can always do is duplicate it. So you'll click that and it'll make a secondary version. Uh, so let's say maybe you didn't like it with the circle, but you wanted to visualize it without the circle. You could just delete that until it's gone. Let's do it one more time. Oh, one more time. 
and now that's gone. So maybe you like the way that looks, but now you want to compare it. You know, do you really want that circle there, or do you not? And then you can, you know, you can continuously duplicate things and get rid of whatever it is that you feel that you need to get rid of. Um, see, some of these just have a lot of parts to them, so you have to delete it multiple times. So maybe you like it the way that looks, or maybe you do want it with, you know, the circle, but you don't want it with this. You know, so you can mess around with it, and you could do it that way. I've seen. Uh, I've seen some of my employees do that before. Um, it's definitely a smart move. Just keep in mind, though, if you do do this, you know, if you press download, it's going to download each and every version of this. And then if you print it, you're going to get a print version of everything. So what I would do is, let's say this is your favorite version. I'd go up here. I'd delete that. And then I would delete this one. And then I would delete this one. And then you're left with just one. And then, you know, all saves or all changes are saved. You're good to go. You can download it and do with it as you wish. So yeah, that'll wrap it up. Uh, if you do have any questions, you know, feel free to email me. Uh, hopefully I can, you know, kind of help out there. Um, don't really mess around with the Instagram posts if you're doing this for SGA because, you know, we usually use flyers unless if we change something. But um, yeah, as far as you can see, this is animated. Yeah, usually that's a pro version of something. There might be free versions now, but, you know, last time I looked, there weren't. That was a pro version um, element. Um, and I believe it still is, but I could be wrong. But yeah, hopefully that this helps you if you are creating anything. Um, yeah, and just if you do have any questions, oh, here you go. Look, you can make your own logo. You could have put that logo in one of the uh, the designs instead of the American flag or the SGA or the um, Student Life and Housing th uh, logo. You could technically just make your own wherever that just went. Yeah, you could just make your own and uh, you know change your name. So I'll just do Joe Biden again real quick just to to show you what I mean. Joe Biden, there you go. <laughs> and then you could save that, you know, save that to your computer as an image. You know, you save it as a as a PNG. I usually save it as a JPEG, but we could do a PNG. You'll download it, you know, it'll save, you'll put it wherever you're doing all that type of stuff, it'll save it there. Then I'll go back to here, I'll go to my designs. I'm gonna go back to the one that we just created before. I'm gonna go back to here, drag that logo into here. So let's say I don't want student life and housing. I'm going to take that out, um, and I'm going to put this one in as soon as it's done. It's probably going to have that weird background to it, but um, there are ways around that. You can uh, basically, um, you could go back in to the other thing. You know, you could uh, utilize this same color as the background so that it would blend in, and then you could change maybe the circle around. And you know, you just oops, didn't need to do that. You, you can, uh, you know, just oops, put it on top of everything. You can just um, move it, you know, however you see fit. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll, that'll sum it up this time. So, yeah, if you do need any help, just let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Just shoot me an email. Everybody should know my email um, uh, from the uh, SGA emails that I've sent out. But if you don't, it's R I N K U N. ASJ at Lackawanna.edu. All right, thank you for watching.